The following is a presentation of Retro Sports Network. As I swallow my coffee, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And, oops. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ron Juckett on this April 15th, 2020. It's a Wednesday. And today we go back to June 23rd, 1978 for a big, big ball game between the Boston Red Sox and Baltimore Orioles. The Red Sox were swept by the Yankees. Three straight. Yes, we know. All hail our overlords in New York City. So the Red Sox have fallen to five and a half games out of first place as we start the weekend of June 23rd, 4th, and 5th. They go with Bill Lee, and it's a big start in real life. And in this replay, since we're doing as played, Don Zimmer lost confidence in Bill Lee. Billy and Don Zimmer were not on the best of friends list. In fact, I think when, when Pedro Martinez shoved Don Zimmer to the ground, Bill Lee was his biggest cheerleader and probably would have said to punch harder. Anyway, so Bill Lee gets a start. He's looking to go 7-5 and five on the year. But when we show you the stats, his ERA is really, really high. And so you can understand why Zimmer and Lee were not on the same page. For the Orioles, they played well against the Brewers, but because the Yankees swept and the Orioles did not. The Yankees now have a one-game lead in the American League East. Baltimore will go with Jim Palmer against this Red Sox lineup. So that's how we slice and dice our way to the top here. So the Orioles are 40 and 27. The Red Sox are 36 and 32. And so with that, the Retro Sports Network presents 1978 Major League Baseball replay tonight from Fenway Park in Boston. It's an American League East battle between the Baltimore Orioles and Boston Red Sox. Brought to you by Uncle Ron's Nerve Tonic. We don't call it snake oil. Jeez. Uncle Ron's Nerve Tonic. Just a quarter for an 8-ounce bottle. And the family size this week at your local Rexall is just 79 cents. Good for what ails you. Uncle Ron's ta Nerve Tonic. Right next to the Locomotive Illustrated Magazine section of your store and we can't wait for the girls of the 420 engine coming out in two weeks all oh, those corsets i'm telling you and so billy is taking his warm-up tosses for boston what we do in the shadows what we do in the shadows robbie we don't talk about Bill Lee throwing his warm-up tosses. This is his 14th start of the year. He will make 10 more after this and only 10 more. He is 6-5 on the year with a 4-6-5 ERA. He pitched against Baltimore on May 11th and took a loss despite going well. Eight innings, two hits, two runs all learned. He walked two and struck out none. His last start was six days ago against Seattle. Five innings, four hits, two runs, both earned. He walked two and struck out two. So overall, 102 and two-thirds innings, 119 hits, 58 runs, 53 earned, nine homers. Control is going to be an issue. He's walked 36 so far and struck out 18. He features a screwball. And the fastball, once he throws it, it only goes to 84. He is a standard pitcher. He is a lefty. It's Fenway Park. You do the math. Yep. I got Didn't have any nightmares. Didn't get a hell of a lot of sleep, but didn't have any nightmares. So that's good. The lineup he will face are all right-handed hitters, starting with Mark Belanger at short. He'll lead off. Rich Dower is at third. He'll bat second. Kenny Singleton. Lorenzo, we missed you yesterday, and right field will hit third. Eddie Murray cleans up at first. Lee May, the DH, will bat fifth. No, I just had a whole mess of nightmares the other night. Uh, Andres Mora in left field will bat sixth. Doug DeSense at second will bat seventh. Carlos Lopez in center will go eighth. How we doing? And Rick Dempsey behind the plate will bat ninth. Jim Palmer... When the time comes for Baltimore, you miss the Astros and Dodgers. How you doing, Mark Forsberg? Carl Yastrzemski is a 9 and a 6 in left field. Defensively for Boston, Freddie Lynn a 10 and a 6. No. Yeah, like I said, I feel better today. 
Dwight Evans, a 10 and right. Yes, you missed your Dodgers. They beat the Astros, and you weren't here. Around the infield, Butch Hobson, a 6 at third. Rick Burleson, a 9 at short. Jerry Remy, a 6 at second. George Scott, a 9 at first. And Carlton Fisk is an 8 and a 7 behind the plate. We kept waiting for you to come back in when the Dodgers took the lead. Belanger at 259, no homers and 16 RBI. And so the weather, 71 degrees here in Boston. The wind blowing from right to left at 17. Available on Twitch for the next two weeks, by the way. So Lee is ready, and so are we. And the pitch to Belanger is ball four. So Mark takes the full count, low and away at 77. Here's Dower. Belanger not going to seal. Dower at 234. No homers. And 12 RBI. So I will be with Mr. Gardner tonight. I got some much needed rest yesterday. Pitch to Dower is a bunt. Fisk will let it roll foul. 0 oh, and to the count. So Lee now will have to throw home. Here's the pitch. And there's a ground ball to Burleson. Might be two. Remy for one. Over to Scott. And do they turn it? Yes, they do. Call it two. So Bill Lee gets his best friend, Bernie Carbo, or some special green stuff to go on his pancakes. One of the two. Kenny Singleton at 313. Nine homers and 24 RBI, sitting on an eight-game hitting streak. Pitch from Lee. And there's a line drive to Burleson, and that will retire the side. And so the Orioles go down, in, well, not quite in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, a walk, and a double play. Half an inning down. Baltimore, nothing here come the Red Sox. And Jim Palmer making start number 17 on the year. He is 8 and 4 with a 1.98 ERA against the Red Sox. He's not pitched against the Red Sox. How about that? So his last time out, a complete game effort against Oakland five nights ago. Nine innings, three hits, a run it was earned. He didn't walk anybody and struck out one. So in 123 innings, he's allowed 89 hits. 30 runs, 27 earned, 7 homers, 34 walks, and 51 strikeouts. And the ERA, as I said, 198. He is a fastball pitcher. He puts it on the ground, and that fastball will top out at 86. The lineup for the Red Sox. Lorenzo, we said it six times during the game Monday. That's on you. Don't you blame me for that. We made it quite clear the Astros and the Dodgers were next up. Don't get Campbell's Chunky Soup Microwavable. Not just terrible, just hard to keep the lid on. What'd you get for soup, Tripe fan? Rick Burleson leads off at short. Jerry Remy will bat second and play second. Jimmy Rice, the DH, will hit third. If it wasn't for Chet Lemon, Rice was in contention for a triple crown. Chicken noodle, that sounds good. Kari Ostromsky cleans up and left. Carlton Fisk behind the plate will bat fifth. Freddie Lynn in center field will go sixth. George Scott, the boomer, at first will bat seventh. Dwayne Evans in right will bat eighth. And Butch Hobson will play third and bat ninth. Bill Lee, 14 pitches in the first to get out of it. Nope, it's 78 all the way, Clinton. So Mora in left has a forearm. I can't see what the number is because Jim Palmer's underwear is staring me in the face. Carlos Lopez is a 5 at an 8 in the center. And Kenny Singleton is a 6 range. Don't throw his arm. We'll get to that. Rich Dower a 6 at 3rd. Mark Belanger a 10 at short. Doug DeSensei a 4 at 2nd. Eddie Murray a 6 at 1st. If it wasn't for Chet Lemon, there'd be a lot more line drives in the cap at Comiskey. Yeah, I'm sure it, it's... Well, no, that's a fielding percentage. We'll see in a moment. Rick Dempsey, a 5 and a 7 behind the plate. And Jim Palmer is a good glove. He's a 10 on the mound with a 9.72. Burleson continues to struggle. He's hitting 198 with a homer and 23 RBI. Palmer is ready. 
And here's the pitch. Moore is a five, and Singleton's arms a seven, and Palmer got Burleson to look at a one-two change for strike three. So one out for Remy, who's at 301, two triples and 20 RBI. So one out. Palmer delivers, and Remy sends this one into right center. Lopez is there, two out for Jim Rice. And we're not kidding about this being a triple crown bet. He's hitting 343. He has 25 homers, which leads the majors. 65 RBI. Remember, this is game 69 for the Red Sox. And that leads the majors. He has seven triples and only seven doubles. Palmer deals. In the center field, Lopez going back, and that's gone. So Rice will homer his 26th of the year, and the Red Sox jump out 1-0. Palmer just kind of put that over the plate, and Rice just mauled that one. That got in the wind and in the left center, so a two-out home run. We'll bring up Carl Yastrzemski. Carl at 278. 11 homers and 33 RBI. Yep, that ball carried. I never pay attention to the measurements. That ball was crushed. Pitch to Yaz. And there's a fly ball to right. Back goes Singleton. He'll make the catch to retire the side. But the Red Sox get a run on the big blast by Jimmy Rice. After one, one nothing Boston. So Eddie Murray, Lee May, and out and Mora to face Lee here in the second. This is gonna not be a pitcher's duel for Baltimore. Murray at 296. 12 homers and 56 RBI. Pitch to Murray is a fly ball, right center field. Freddie Lynn is running into the bullpen area and makes the catch. Freddie Lynn hauled Bud about 35, 40 yards to make that grab. And there's one out for Lee May at 256, 12 homers, and 47, not 14, 47 RBI. Pitch from Lee May. Ground ball, base hit, pass a diving Burleson. And that is the first Oriole hit. And it won't be the last, I'm sure. Andres Mora at 188. Three homers and six RBI. So Earl working on the Chesterfields early. Yeah, you would shift against Rice for sure. Eric, you could have put nine outfielders in there for that, though, Mark, and no one would have made it. Pitch to Mara. Struck him out. He swung on and missed something along the other at 79, and that's two away for Doug DeSensei at 257. 12 homers and 35 RBI. Lee delivers, and there's a ground ball to Hobson over to first to Sensei with wheels, and Scott can't get it. The throw down to second is not in time, and he beat out the throw, and Hobson's throw couldn't find Scott's glove. And so everybody else moves up 90 on the E5. So Butch Hobson does, but Butch Hobson does. And it's second and third for Carlos Lopez, who's hitting a whopping 172, a homer, and four RBI. Nope, everybody's still there. Clock says 14.03 and seven people watching. Pitch from Lee. Runners go. Fly ball right field. Evans is there. And that will retire the side. The Orioles get two hits and error, and they strand two. We go to the bottom of the second. Still one nothing Boston. So as Pudge Fisk steps to the plate, let's tell you the standings in the American League. First the East, the Yankees, who swept the Red Sox. No, it's fine here, and I'm getting those teal numbers. So it's got to be on your end, Lorenzo. The Yankees have won five straight, including three in a row in Boston. They go 41 and 26. The Orioles, 40 and 27. And the Red Sox, after getting swept by the Yankees, fall to 36 and 32 and trail by five and a half. 
In the West, California and Kansas City are on losing streaks, so the lead for California is still two. Minnesota has crawled within four, and Chicago four and a half, and Texas is actually playing some good ball. They've won five straight, eight of their last ten, and they're now five and a half out. National League, the Dodgers, with their win over Houston, which somebody missed, have a game lead over Houston and four and a half over Cincinnati. And the East, Pittsburgh, is a game and a half over Philadelphia, and that seems to be everything in that division. Montreal fading their seven back, and everyone else wants to know when golf season starts. Pudge Fisk at 328. Ten homers and 38 RBI. Palmer deals, and that's ball four. So he missed Hine inside on a full count, and that'll bring up Fred Lynn. Freddie at 294, eight homers and 41 RBI, and he's sitting on a seven-game hitting streak. Hit and run is on. Lynn in the right center field. That's a base hit. Fisk will go to third, and the Red Sox have runners in the corners, and nobody out for the boomer. George Scott at 303, three homers and 16 RBI. One nothing Boston. Bottom in the second. Pitch to Scott. Ground ball up the middle to Sensei. We'll try for two. Belanger for one. Throw to Murray. Scott retired. Fisk will score. Boston will trade two for the price of one, and it's 2 nothing. Yeah, the Astros really should have won yesterday, too. You're absolutely right. Dodgers made four errors, and Houston left 12 runners on. But in the all-important win column, it goes to the Dodgers. Dwight Evans is at 190. Eight homers and 32 RBI. Two out, two nothing Boston. Bottom in the second. And Palmer throws another walk. So that was a four-pitch walk. That was down and away. And it'll bring up Hobson at 251. Nine homers and 38 RBI. Here's the pitch. Hobson into left field. Mora will make the catch, and that will retire the side. The Red Sox get another run on a hit. No errors. After two, Boston two, Baltimore nothing. So Dempsey, Belanger, and Dower as the Orioles will flip the lineup here on Lee. Dempsey at 234. Thank you, sir. Five homers and 25 RBI. Pitch to Dempsey is a fly ball in the left field. Back goes Yaz off the top of the wall. So Dempsey thought it was gone. That caught the Gulf Stream, and so Dempsey will have a double. Yes. You remember Mr. Salty Pretzels? I used to love them. So Lee at 33 pitches, nine batters, two plus innings, three hits, a walk, and a strikeout. Belanger walked to start the game. Pitch from Lee. Popped up. The left side. Burleson will call for it. Over by second. Makes the catch one out. Brings up Rich Dower, who grounded into a double play. So Fenway today for lefties. Batting average minus two. Righties at plus 15. So much room in right center. Lefties for uh, the wall out there. Lefties for homers minus 21%. Righties plus 40. Pitch to Dower. Well, ground ball to Burleson. Looks Dempsey back. Throws to first. And there's two out. And Dempsey actually will hold. Brings up Kenny Singleton. Still sitting on an eight-game hitting streak. He's 0 for 1. Lee winds and fires in the left center field. Back goes Lynn. He'll make the catch to retire the side. So the Orioles leave another one on. No runs, a hit, no errors. After two and a half, it's still 2-0 Boston. So that brings up the top of the lineup for the Sox. Burleson, Remy, and Rice. Rick struck out his first time up. Palmer. Through nine batters, 41 pitches. That's not very efficient. Two innings, two hits, the solo shot by Rice. Both runs are earned. He has walked two and struck out one. And that 
being Burleson. Pitch from Palmer. Ground ball to short. Belanger can make that in a sleep. Throws to first, and it got away from Murray. He could make the throw in his sleep, but he probably should have been awake as it is high. It hit off the top of Murray's glove, and the Red Sox have a runner. For Jerry Remy, who is 0 for 1, he's hitting 300. Going to drop one here. He does, and that will roll foul. Oh, wait! He tried to drag bunt, and Remy stepped on the ball. And you can't do it. That's the same thing as being hit by the ball, and Remy's out. Remy stands there. He's about 25 feet up the line. And he's just shaking his head. You know those old Looney Tunes when they do something stupid and the picture of the donkey shows up? Well, that's how the that's the look right now on Jerry Remy's face. Here's Rice. He pounded one in the left center. I mean, he turned that into veal parmesan for his 26. Yeah, what a maroon. For his 26 of the year, he's now driven in 66. Palmer's pitch, and Rice will pop this one up. Left side, Dower, two away. Brings up Yaz, who's 0 for 1. No, we want you here. We always want you here. By the way, Twitch numbers now say I have 1,682 viewers. Not in the stream, of course, but overall. And YouTube, we're dancing right around 600. I've gone over twice and come back. Pitch, uh, throw to first, Burleson back. Yeah, steps out, steps back in. Up the middle, right back to Palmer. Doesn't even have to get out of his jockey shorts. Throws to first, and the side is retired. The Red Sox cannot take advantage of the error. No runs, no hits after three. Boston, two. Baltimore, nothing. Uh, 90 followers, by the way. Thank you, sir. No. Where is Jim Palmer from? Eddie Murray is 0 for 1 as we start the top of the fourth. And if you got headphones on, here's some iced coffee for you to enjoy. Oh, yeah, because I have four subs here, and that's the only ones I want to hear from. Pitch to Murray is ball four. 3-1 just above the letters. And I'll bring up May. So Lee is walked to. May singled his first time up. Pitch from Lee, and May hits this one into left center. Back goes Lynn and Yaz, and that's, go that's off the top of the wall. Murray will round third. Lynn's going to gun it home. May's got a double. Burleson's throw home is close, and he's safe. <laughs> just telling you. You asked, and it would just be whoever. Uh, May still has it. Yep. May's on, and it's 2-1. to one. Andres Mora struck out his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Pitch from Lee. There's a drag bunt foul. Fisk will pick it up. And the count is 0-1-2. Pitch from Lee. There's a fly ball to left. Back goes Yaz to the wall. Makes the catch. May goes back. Will tag the throw to Hobson. Not in time. That was not as close as it looked. Yastrzemski still has a good arm in his late 30s, but May was on the way. So one out for DeSensei, who singled his first time up. Pitch from Lee. There's a fly ball to left. This will score a run. Yaz makes the catch. May goes back and tag. The throw goes back in the infield, and we're not at a two. Brings up Carlos Lopez. I'm a drug, huh? My wife would like that. Lopez 0 for 1. Pitch from Lee. 
Ground ball, Scott will underhand it to Lee cover in the bag, and that will retire the side. But the Orioles get two on an hit and a walk. We played three and a half, two to the score. So Fisk, Lynn, and Scott to face Palmer here in the fourth. Pudge walked and scored. Oh, Lorenzo, I'm just giving you grief. I always appreciate the comments. I may not comment on them, but I always do appreciate them. Pitch to Fisk is popped up. Dempsey takes off the mask. And there's one out. For Lynn, who singled his first time up. One for one. Got some sun today. It's 43 degrees here. Not the warmest day, but a few minutes of vitamin D for sure. Pitch to Lynn. There's a ground ball to Murray. Picks it up on a hop. Runs over to first, and there's two out. So here's George Scott. Palmer kind of settling in now. Bloomer grounded into a double play his first time up, and that's behind the bag at second. The Sensei over to first, and the Red Sox go down. And No, they don't, because they got away from Murray. It was over his head, and Scott's on second. So Earl Weaver sits in the visiting dugout in disgust as DeSensei airmailed the throw. And that brings up Evans, who walked his first time up. So a second error for Baltimore, the first for Boston. Pitch to Evans. There goes Scott, and Dewey strikes out. He got him looking on the outside corner, and Palmer just shakes his head. No runs, no hits, an error for Baltimore. After four, it's still 2-2. I did some hockey. I wrote about the Capitals. But baseball is primarily what I wrote about. Covering the Nats for about a year and a half. Garvey, I bet we get 200 in the sim. I'll have to look. Rickinator 555. Five, Rickinator 55 five and I were partners, as a matter of fact, on that side. If Ricky's still here. Rick Dempsey. Mark Belanger and Rich Dower here in the top of the fifth for the Birdies. Dempsey doubled his first time up. You're too kind, my friend. Pitch to Dempsey is a pop-up or a left side. Burleson on the grass, one out. Yep, good times for sure. Hey, that was still fun to watch, though, wasn't it? My good friend, Ricky Keeler. Belanger walked in his 0 for 1. So Lee is pitching a decent game. 55 pitches, 4 and a third innings. 18 batters, 4 hits. He has walked 2. Both runs are earned. And struck out 1. One of those walks was Belanger. Pitch from Lee. And that's a line drive base hit. Belanger going for 2. That's in the center field. And Mark's got it. So Lynn really wasn't anything he could do about that. Belanger with a head first slide didn't matter. And now bring up Dower who's 0 for 2 with a double play. Lee's pitch. Ground ball to third. Hobson to Scott. Two out. Ron still does play by play the way he does Dodcast. Well, they were post game shows. Picture in this in post game form. Thank you. Kenny Singleton is 0 for 2. He's still sitting on an eight game hitting streak. Mr. Lee's delivery is a long drive to left, but Yaz will settle and make the catch. And that will retire the side. The Orioles get no runs on a hit and nowhere. It's time for the commercial halfway home. Boston 2, Baltimore 2. Oops. They changed around my buttons. There, that's the one you're supposed to see.
So Jim Rice with a solo shot in the first. That was absolutely nuked to left center. Baltimore couldn't score in the second. George Scott, fielder's choice, made it 2 nothing, And then Lee May doubled home Eddie Murray. And then Doug DeSensei with the sack fly to tie the game at 2. Not a lot of strikeouts as you'd expect from Palmer and Lee. Lee threw five, five innings, two runs both earned. He's walked two and struck out one. Palmer, you'll see again in a moment. As the Red Sox flip the lineup, Hobson's 0 for 1. At Big Red, if you don't like Big Red, then, oh, McDelivery. No, I'm sure Team Fight Tactics is just playing for lowly Twitch streamers. And TurboTax, because you still got 60 more days to do your taxes. And what we do in the... Oh, I told you, I'm not talking about what we do in the shadows. Pitch to Hobson. And there's a liner in the left center field. Moore got a late jump, and Hobson's got himself a double. He's in there standing. And the Red Sox had the go-ahead run on. Jim Palmer threw 18 batters, 70 pitches. Four innings plus, three hits. The homer to Rice... He has walked two and struck out two, and both hits, or both runs, rather, are earned. So Burleson 0 for 2 with a strikeout. I did some mick delivery over the weekend. It was yummy. Pitch to Burleson is a ground ball to second. DeSensei throws to first. Hobson will go to third. And now the go-ahead run is 90 feet away. I ordered a double cheeseburger, small fry, and an apple pie. In fact, the wife and I got the same thing. We didn't even have to fight about whose food was what. Jerry Remy's 0 for 2. Go-ahead run on third, one out. Palmer delivers, and Remy up the middle, past a diving to Sensei, gives the Red Sox the lead. Hobson will score. Remy on first. And now bring up Rice, who hit that moonshot in the first. He's one for two. So the Red Sox kind of have Baltimore or Jim Palmer solved. Pitch to Rice. Struck him out. And 0-2 on the outside corner. Fastball at 87. Two out for Yastrzemski, who's 0 for 2. Digital Dice is a great podcast. Remy goes to throw down to second, and Remy is safe. That's his 14th of the year. And so Yaz has an 0-1 count and another runner in scoring position. Lorenzo's got a hackering for double Big Mac, but it won't be today. Cooking for your grandson's band. What's your beef over rice and some broccoli? That sounds good. We're doing beans and rice for dinner, as a matter of fact. Pitch to Yaz is a ground ball of Dower over at third across the way, and Yastrzemski is retired. But the Red Sox get a run on two hits and no errors after five, Boston three, Baltimore two. My wrist is cracked. Ow. Eddie Murray, Lee May, and Mora. I love rice, too. I like rice better than potatoes. Murray walked and scored. He's 0 for 1. Probably a little before your time, Robbie. Pitch to Murray is a ground ball behind Remy for a base hit. And that brings up May, who singled and doubled. Drove in a run and scored. Lee from the blind. Strike. From the stretch, rather. Murray was going to steal and didn't get a good jump. Okay. Sure. Goes home, May, and a liner in the left field. Yes, is there. One out. Yeah, they stay up on Twitch. I'm a good week behind, at least, on putting the ball games up onto YouTube. But the golf is all there. So we'll be doubling up on some of those baseball streams. Pitch to Mara. There's a fly ball, left field. Yes, two out. For DeSensei, who singled and drove in a run. Singled in the second, sack fly in the fourth. Two out, 3-2 Boston. Top the sixth. Yep, the golf's there. 
Pitch to DeSensei, ball four. But the Twitch stuff stays up on Twitch for two weeks. Carlos Lopez is 0 for 2. Pitch. And there's a fly ball to the left. Yaz will get all three putouts as the Orioles go down. No runs, a hit, no errors. A walk, two. They strand two, five and a half in the books. Boston, three. Baltimore, two. They can play without crowds. They're still a month away. So we'll see when they come back. Fisk is 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. Lynn and Scott to follow. Palmer starts the bottom in the sixth with a ground ball base hit to the right side. So Pudge has got himself a single. Here's Lynn. He's 1 for 2 with it. Yep, you got to stay vigilant because once we start letting things back open again, things will. the virus is going to come back. So they got to be really careful. Dempsey and Palmer have a few words. Pitch to Lynn is a fly ball to right. Singleton should have it. He does for the out. One out for Scott, who's 0 for 2. He's grounded into a double play. Fisk, not going to steal him, but he can ste actually steal. He's got a 79% chance. Palmer goes home. Scott in the left. Mora moves over, makes the catch, and Fisk will... Trot back. Two out for Evans, who has walked and struck out. Yep, people got their stimuluses checked today if you had it. That's not true, Robbie. You got a lot of support staff and volunteer people. It's not just the athletes. There goes Fisk to throw down to DeSensei. They got him. So head first dive into Sensei tagged him, and that will retire the side. No runs, a hit, no errors. After six, Boston three, Baltimore two. So Dempsey, Belanger, and Dower to face Lee in the seventh. Dempsey one for two with a double. Pitch, ground ball to third. Hobson over to Scott, and Dempsey's retired. One out. Belanger, one for two with a double and a walk. Here's the pitch. And there's a line drive left center field. Yaz will cut it off. Belanger with a hit. So through 28 batters, Bill Lee, six in the third innings, 92 pitches. Seven hits, two runs, both in, three walks and a strikeout. Dower, 0 for three. He's grounded into a double play. Pitch to Dower, snap throw to first, and Belanger's out. So the snap throw was high, or this was good, and Fisk just gunned him down from his knees. So two out, nobody on. And Lee with the 1 0 count to Dower. Ground ball to Scott, and a great play over to Lee for the out. So Scott. Lumbered over, made the grab, and flips to first for the out. Oops. Lorenzo's going to Walmart, get your bask ready. Depends. I mean, some of the food processors have had some virus trouble, so just be patient. Had my mask on to go to Duncan this morning. It'll be Evans, Hobson, and Burleson. John Conley reminds you that Fenway Franks are just as good as Dodger Dogs. But they're not made by Farmer John. Evans has walked and struck out. Which, oh yeah, yep, that's what John Kiley says. We don't get Dodger dogs on the East Coast. 
Pitch to Evans. Struck him out. That is an 0-2 on the inside corner. And that's four for Palmer. I'll take your word for it because I never had a Dodger dog. I never lived in California. Butch Hobson is one for two. He is doubled and scored. Pitch. Struck him out. Throw gets away from Dempsey. And he's retired. So the 2-2 off-speed pitch was swung on and missed, but it goes 2-3 on the card. Five strikeouts for Palmer. 103 pitches, 27 batters through six and two-thirds. Five hits, three runs all earned. The solo shot by Rice. Palmer's walked two and struck out five. I'm sure you have. You live in California. Rick Burleson is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. I don't think you can even find Fenway Franks in the store anymore. Not around here. Here's a fly ball to center field. Lopez will come in to make the catch, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors after seven. It's the Red Sox three, the Orioles two. Kenny Singleton is 0 for 3. If they carry them locally, Lorenzo will petition to have them removed. Do you know what I like? The, the Yankees serve these. I love Nathan's. Nathan's kosher. So Singleton 0 for 3. Murray and Bay to follow. Pitch from Lee is fouled off the mask of fit. Nope. Actually, my favorite hot dogs are local ones. One and two the count. From McKenzie. Because they're packed in natural casings, and so they snap. And they are so good. Pitch to Singleton. Ball struck him out. He got him swinging on a 1-2 fastball. One out for Murray, who is one for two. He has walked and scored and singled. Sticks and stones, Lorenzo, may break my bones. The worst hot dog I ever had was in Montreal. The high grade. Boiled in water at the Big O. Oh my God, was that horrible. Pitch to Murray is a ground ball to Hobson. Over to Scott. Two out. So Lee cruising right along here. Two out for May. Lee is doubled and singled. Scored a run and drove in a run. His 48th. 3 2 Boston. Remy, Rice, and Yaz coming up in the bottom of the eighth. And May line drive to short. Burleson leaps, makes the catch, and that will retire the side. Lee going for the complete game. Seven and a half in the books. Boston three, Baltimore two. Jerry Remy one for three. is singled, stole a base, and drove in run number 21. He's one for three. Palmer's pitch, and that's a ground ball to Dower playing for the bunt. Snap throw to first, and Remy is out by an eyelash. Remy can run, but Dower's throw is better. Here's Jim Rice. He is one for three. He has soloed Homer. That came in the first. And struck out. Pitch to Rice is in the center field. Back goes Lopez to the track. Two out now. Lorenzo, what do you put on your hot dog? Yaz is 0 for 3. I went to Montreal in 88. Palmer delivers, and there's a base hit into right center field. Yaz will round first. Singleton will pick it up. Mustard and sauerkraut are good. Here's Fisky's 1 for 2. I'm a ketchup, mustard, and relish guy. Yeah, onions are good too. And relish. I don't understand the big deal about ketchup and hot dogs. Pitch the throw to first, yeah, it's back. Chili dog is great drunk food. Not that I would know that. Pitch to Fisk. Struck him out. So the 2-2 two -two was swung on and miss, and that will retire the side. Yeah, you know, some people love ketchup and some people don't. I don't put only ketchup on there. Anyway, no runs, one hit, and no errors. We go to the ninth. It's Mora to Sensei and Lopez to face Lee. And Brats out of St. Louis. Yep. 
I wouldn't put that on a ketchup on a brat, though. And, of course, if you go to Fenway, you really are getting the sausage and peppers with the brown mustard, not that yellow stuff. Andres Mora is 0 for 3, one of the two strikeout victims for Lee. Pitch to Mora is a line drive left field. Yaz will pick it up. And Kiko Garcia is going to pinch run it first. Garcia is not a threat to steal, but he's good on the bases. Desense, one for one. He has walked and singled. And we'll see how long I leave Lee in. And you would never hear a virtual TED Talk on game hot dog condiments on a Fortnite stream. Do they sell a Mets Met at City Field? I'm sure it's all Nathan's there. It's also a steak shack in the outfield. Pitch to Desense. Ball four, and that's it. So Carlos Lopez coming in. And yep, got to do it. Bob Stanley coming in to pitch. Where the hell is Demos? Well, Sayo Novina, here's Stanley making his 12th appearance of the year. He is 1-0 and with three saves and an ERA of 3-3-8. He is a ground ball plus pitcher and the fastball Tops out at 85. Against the Orioles, he's appeared three times. Two and a third innings, one hit. And a strikeout. His last time out, June 17th against the Mariners. Two and a third innings, two hits and a strikeout. To get his first win of the year. 21 and a third innings, 19 hits. Eight runs all earned, no homers. He has walked four and struck out six. And clearly... This is a save situation. There's nobody out. 3-2 Boston. Garcia on second. Desensei on first. And if Stanley does what I think he's going to do, Lynn Scott and Evans for the Sox in the bottom of the ninth. Nobody out. And Terry Crowley will pinch it. Crowley. Well, that's what he did. He threw most of those innings out of the pen. 167, a ho no homers, and an RBI. Hit 253 on the real year. Pitch to Crowley, and there's a ground ball to Remy. Burleson for one over to Scott. I don't think so. Crowley beat it out. And Pat Kelly is on first. So runners in the corners for Dempsey, who is one for three. And again, Stanley is set up for the double play to win the ball game. So they'll play it back. Dempsey with a double. Two runs, eight hits, two errors for Baltimore. They've left six on. Three runs, six hits, one error for Boston. They've left five on. Pitch to Dempsey. Ground ball to Hobson. To Remy for one. Over to Scott. And the Red Sox pull it out. Bob Stanley is a palmer. Palm ball pitcher. He tried to get the double play and he got it. And for the Boston Red Sox, that's a huge win. So Bill Lee gets the win. Eight innings, eight hits, two runs, both earned. He walked four and struck out two. Bob Stanley faced three batter, two batters through three pitches and got himself his fourth save. Jim Palmer, complete game loss, eight innings, six hits, Three runs, the homer to Rice, he walked two and struck out six. Bill Lee is our Digital Dice player of the game with his good effort. So for the moment, the Orioles go a game and a half behind the Yankees. Busy, busy day of baseball because it's Friday, and so we'll let this play out. Phillies sweep a doubleheader from the Cubs in the opener 3-2. to two. Warren Brewster gets the win. Mike Schmidt with a second home run, or two home runs. Oops. Uh-oh. I didn't take this one off the board. Hold on.
didn't see that. Where was I? I hit the wrong button. That's what I did. Okay. So Philadelphia takes a doubleheader from Chicago, 3-2. Schmidt with two homers in game one. Brewster goes to 1-0. And in the nightcap, Jim Longboard shuts out Chicago, 6-0. Sizemore, 3-4 for four in that one. Longboard goes to 5-5 five five in 11 innings. Cleveland, 4. Toronto, 3. Dan Spilner, his first one in the American League. Upshaw, 2-5 for five with a triple. Mets beat the Pirates, 4-3. to three. Murray with a win. Goes to 1-1. One and one. Parker is 15th homer in the loss. Kansas City steals five bases. They beat Oakland 6-1. to one. Paul Splitorf goes to 6-8. and eight. Hal McRae with his fifth home run. Yankees beat the Tigers 7-6 to six in 10 innings. Sparky Lyle goes to 7-1. Rudy May, right? No, May with a homer, his fifth of the year. Texas shuts out California 8-0. In the first of that doubleheader, Fergie Jenkins goes to 5-4. and four. Pat Putnam from Bethel, Vermont with his first homer of the year. Seattle beat Milwaukee 4-3. to three. How about that? Glenn Abbott goes to 5-4. and four. Bill Stein 4-4 four for four with a double. Montreal beats the Cardinals 5-1. Rudy May, that's how you do it, 7-4. and four. Andre Dawson 2-4 for four with a stolen base. Minnesota beats Chicago 4-3. to three. Dave Goltz goes to 6-3 and three on the year. Mike Marshall with his 4 save. Uh, Oakland, Kansas City, by the way, was a doubleheader. It's game two of that. Uh, Dennis Leonard gets the win. So Kansas City sweeps Oakland 9-5 to in the nightcap. One of those games, Kansas City stole five bases. Uh, Gaylord Perry goes the route. 3-2 to two, San Diego over Houston. He goes to 6-6. Six and six. The Dodgers beat the Reds 10-2. to two. Burt Hooten wins his 10th of the year. Lee Lacey with his ninth homer. San Francisco 7, Atlanta 2 Find a blue goes to six and seven. No. Uh. Cal the second game between California and Texas all playoff line. No. Arg. Texas beats California in game two, nine to one. Gosh, that was difficult. <laughs> okay, standings. Dodgers by two over Houston. Five and a half over Cincinnati. In the East, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh are now tied. Tied. You can't lose to the Mets. In the West, Kansas City and California are tied. Minnesota, two and a half. Texas, three and a half. Chicago, four. Five-team race in the West. Yankees by two over Baltimore. Five and a half over Boston. The Saturday game, which you'll see to tomorrow, Cincinnati and Los Angeles, noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. I'm Ron Jacket. And so we'll see you then. So I'll see you tonight for Dave's support chat. Until, until then, yep, no, it screwed up. So that was on me. So until tonight, we'll talk to you then. Be good to each other, y'all you have. Till then, bye-bye.